Hello everyone, my name's Adam Vox. welcome back to another Ubuntu 16.04 tips video brought to you by our sponsor, System76. Today I'm going to walk you through ripping a DVD and potentially Blu-ray in the best possible quality video format. This is a partner video to accompany the Windows version I did as we're using the same program, but it works a little bit differently here on Windows, or here on Linux rather compared to Windows. My System76 Lemur laptop does not actually have a CD or DVD ROM drive in it as most laptops don't these days. So I'm using an external USB one that seems to be working quite well. The manufacturer name I can't actually pronounce but I'll post the link to it in the description below. If you're looking for a DVD drive to use with your laptop on Linux that's compatible this one seems to be working fine and it was very very cheap. I did get it on an Amazon Prime de deal Amazon Prime Days deal, but it, it was still originally pretty cheap. So the program we're going to be using for this is called Make MKV. It's currently in beta, and throughout the beta, ripping of both Blu-ray and DVDs is totally free. Once the beta is over, the Shareware feature will give you a 30-day trial of Blu-ray ripping, and then you'll have to pay, but currently all you have to do is reinstall it if your trial runs out to continue using it. However, the normal download link is not going to give you the Linux version. You have to actually go to their forum page here, where it says. And you have to actually <laughs> compile it from source, which isn't a huge deal. You also have to make sure you have these dependencies installed, which are the basic, uh, basic essential dependencies and libav codecs. So simply copy that, open up a terminal, control shift V to paste it in, hit enter, type in your password enter and looks like I did not have one of them so it's gonna install one of them for me and we're good to go so next we're going to download which version we want so oh, no it says download both the binary and source packages so we're gonna download we're gonna make a folder here create folder make mkv is gonna be our folder and we're gonna save these two tar gz files here Editing Epos are jumping in here just to let you know that I'm going to walk you through the steps that they actually tell you to do. But if you encounter an error like I have, as you'll see actually pop up, you need to run all of these, all of the configure and make and make install commands as sudo. I do not do so at first and that creates a problem, but just run them all as sudo and it should work fine. Alright, and we're, liter we're literally just going to follow what this says real quick to compile from source. So you can skip ahead if you're already doing this, but... This is basically what we need to do. So we need to extract both of these, the bin and the source code. So extract, extract, woo. And we're gonna navigate to that folder. And we're gonna start with the bin. We're gonna right click open terminal here. We're gonna do dot slash configure. Or no we're not, no we're not, hold on. Let's follow the directions. Okay, that's for the OSS package, so we should do that first. Read the directions. Learn from my mistakes. Don't learn, or don't make the same ones. Alright, so we opened up terminal, right click, open in terminal, and we're going to type in dot slash configure. It's going to configure the code, and then make, and then sudo make install. Usual compile process, make. Do, 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 do. And now sudo make install. Enter, type in your password again, enter again, and we are good. Now we go back to the bin version folder, and we already had a terminal open there. So we do make, and sudo make install. And we're good with the terminal side of things there. And then it installs the folder to user bin make mkv. Adds it to the path basically here. So troubleshooting time, if you encountered the error that I did a minute ago where it said failure to initialize, when I ran through those steps of configuring and making, do it with sudo. So once you're in the folder, sudo dot slash configure, sudo make, sudo make install, and then in the bin folder, sudo make and sudo make install. And that should fix it for you because now when I typed in make mkv, it actually opened up the program. 
and it seems to be working okay now. So I don't know why you had to run it as sudo, especially when the instructions didn't say so. But that seems to be working, and then it detects that I have Kill Bill Volume 1 DVD in the drive. So I'm going to click on it, let it open up the DVD, and then it should work fairly similarly to how it does on Windows now. It's going to detect and load all of the titles on the disc. So it has loaded up all of the titles of the that are on the disc here, and you can tell which one's the main feature film simply by how big it is and how many chapters there are. We have one here at the top that's 4.9 gigabytes and 19 chapters. That would be the feature film. For the purposes of this, I am not ripping any of the extras, but the little behind the scenes and trailers that are thrown on the disc and things like that, that's what these smaller ones are. Then you can click the little drop down arrow here, arrow here next to your title, and it has all the different audio formats and subtitles available for the film. Here you can see there's both Dolby Digital and DTS surround for English, and just Dolby Digital surround for French. We don't want French, or at least I don't want French. And then I don't want anything that aren't English subtitles here, but I will leave the English ones are. There's two listings for English for some reason. I'm just going to leave them both just to be safe. And then here you can set your output folder for where you want it to go. By default, it's going to make a folder within your videos folder under your user directory. Uh, it, it's going to make a folder for that un with the name of the film. That's fine for me, but you can click and change it, tell it where to go as you like, and then click the big button under make MKV. And it asks if you want to make that directory since it doesn't exist, and I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to make a like for like as original copy as possible of the DVD. And it's going to be about 4.9 gigabytes, like it said. And it's going to take a little while, depending on the speed of your DVD drive, the speed of your computer, and so on. I'll come back after it's done and play the file back for a second to show you, but that's pretty much it. It has finished ripping the movie. So I'm going to click OK and go ahead and close MKV, or make MKV. We're going to minimize I minimize Google Chrome here. All right. So we're going to navigate to our videos folder, Kill Bill Volume 1, and we have title00.mkv. We go to properties and audio video. You can see it's 1 hour, 53 minutes, for, or 50 minutes, 43 seconds, 720 by 480 at 30 frames a second, standard DVD stuff. DTS surround 5.1 it picks up and it is 4.9 gigabytes. We open it up here. That's Kill Bill. That's Kill Bill, all right. And it's in pretty good quality for a DVD rip being upscaled to 1080. I'm going to show too much for copyright reasons, but that's it. And the same would work for Blu-rays as well, as long as you have a Blu-ray drive. I didn't want to spend the extra money for it since I was basically only buying this DVD drive for these tutorials, since I have a Blu-ray drive in my desktop. But that's all you need to do, and then simply eject your DVD when you're good to go. I do hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech videos. Check the playlist link in the YouTube card icon above or in the description below for uh, more Ubuntu tips. I have a whole playlist set up here. And be sure to check out our sponsor. System76 is based out of Denver, Colorado and builds powerful and really awesome Linux-based machines for us Linux users who want one that made to work with it right out of the box. I've been using the System76 Lemur laptop as my main Ubuntu machine for a little while now and I've enjoyed it quite a bit. The unboxing to it will be in the description below, and that's what I'm recording all of these tutorials on, and I'm enjoying it very, very much. They make great machines, they have high quality stuff, they do laptops, desktops, servers, and more, and they've got some pretty cool stuff going all to power makers, creators, coders, and even people like me. Check out their link in the description below for more information and to help out the channel, let them know I sent you, and otherwise, my name's been Adam Repos Vox. I do appreciate you watching, and if you have any comments, comment down below. I'll see you in the next video.